tarsal coalition is an abnormal bridge of tissue that connects two normally separate tarsal bones. The term a urotarsal a euro unregistered trademark refers to the seven bones in the rear to mid part of the foot known as the tarsus. The term a euro coalition a euro unregistered trademark means a coming together of two or more entities to merge into one mass. The term a euro -bar a euro refers to the abnormal a euro bar of bony a euro or fibrous tissue between the two bones. The bones of children are very malleable in infancy. This will generally mean that, despite the presence of a coalition, the bones can deform enough to allow painless walking until the child a euro unregistered trademark a skeleton has matured enough. Skeletal maturing means that bone is laid down in the tissue that forms the immature bone shape gradually until adult bone is achieved at about the age of 17 years in the feet. Other body parts reach skeletal maturity at different times. The onset of symptoms related to a tarsal coalition usually occurs at about 9 to 17 years of age, with a peak incidence occurring at 10 to 14 years of age. Anatomy, anatomically, the abnormal connecting a euro bridge a euro unregistered trademark is virtually all cartilage in the young child, often nearly all bone in an adult and a mixture as the skeleton ossifies in between these ages. Some fibrous tissue is often also involved. When the bridging link becomes bony enough, it results in a limitation of motion and this brings about the onset of pain. The bones of the tarsus are the rearmost bones in the adjacent diagram, calcaneus, talus, navicular, cuboid, medial cuneiform, intermediate cuneiform and lateral cuneiform bones. These bones create the two major foot joints, the subtalar and mid-tarsal joints, that allow complex motions to occur in the feet. These motions are necessary for such activities as walking over uneven terrain and creating a gait that allows normal function of the knees, hips, back, etc. Causes Tarsal coalition is almost exclusively a product of an error during the dividing of embryonic cells in utero. Other causes of xynostosis could include a surgical euro screwing together a euro unregistered trademark of two bones. A very advanced case of arthritis leading to self fusion of a joint by an internal process within the body or some other very traumatic event. The birth defect responsible for tarsal coalition is thought to often be an autosomal dominant genetic condition. This means that if you have a parent with the disorder, it is highly likely to be passed on to offspring. Symptoms Although one is born with a tarsal coalition, as mentioned above, the symptoms do not occur until the bone has ossified slash solidified to a degree. Often, the symptoms are euro turn only euro unregistered trademark suddenly one day and only a euro unregistered trademark T stop. These can include pain which may be quite severe and debilitating, lack of endurance for activity, fatigue, muscle spasms and cramps, an inability to rotate the foot and needing to walk in a contorted position to allow continued ambulation. Diagnosis The normal process by which a coalition is diagnosed is that, when consulted by an adolescent with rear foot pain, the podiatrist will examine the area. The physical exam will reveal that the foot movement is limited. This is both because there is a physical blockade to movement and because the brain will a euro turn only euro unregistered trademark the muscles around the area to stop the joint moving toward the painful a euro zone a euro unregistered trademark. X-rays will usually be ordered and, in general, if there is enough toughness to the tissue bridge that pain has begun a euro there will usually be enough bone laid down to show up in an X-ray. More high-tech investigations such as CT scan will be required if proceeding to surgery. If the bridge appears to be mostly fibrous tissue, an MRI would be the preferred modality to use. Types the two most common types of tarsal coalitions are calcaneonavicular and talocalcaneal, comprising 90% of all tarsal coalitions. In the former, there is a failure of separation between the calcaneus and the navicular bones, while the latter represents a failure of separation between the calcaneal and talar bones. There are other bone coalition combinations possible but they are very rare. In both cases, despite the bar being in different locations, the pain occurs in the same rough location a euro on the outside of the foot just below and forward of the outside ankle bone. This area is called the sinus tarsi. If the problem is not treated and abnormal gait develops, 
other joints between the foot and lower back will be affected. Treatment The goal of non-surgical treatment of tarsal coalition is to relieve the symptoms by reducing the movement of the affected joint. This might include non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, steroidal anti-inflammatory injection, stabilizing orthotics or immobilization via a leg cast. At times, short-term immobilization followed by long-term orthotic use may be sufficient to keep the area free of pain. Surgery is very commonly required. The type and complexity of the surgery will depend on the location of the coalition. Essentially, there are two types of surgery. Wherever possible, the bar will be removed to restore normal motion between the two bones. If this is not possible, it may be necessary to fuse the affected joints together by using screws to connect them solidly. Cutting away the coalition is more likely to succeed the younger the patient. With age comes extra wear in the affected and adjacent joints that makes treatment more difficult. References External links, Tarsal Coalition Treatment http www.walkerthutpain.com.au slash tarsal-coalition